Without me, eyes are marbles. No darkness they see. Faces look garbled. No flurry they feel. No breath, no cheer. Death not to fear. Time is not spent. Loses has no scent. At nothing you can marvel without me. But it wasn't roses, my precious. Not roses. Lilies. Not lilies. Not roses. Which one was it, precious? upon his back. We may provide you with a car. There is no hope for him, I fear. The creature is lost. Well, let's see how he responds to some light. Someone tortured him long before the Dunadan found him. The darkness grows beyond our borders. My people are growing anxious. We cannot let this evil linger among us. Enough. We believe that he went to Mordor. That's what I feared. What did he hope to find, I wonder? Believe us. I want to hear what he has to say. Why don't we start with your name? Your real name, not the one others have given you. Very well. Let us try someone else's name. Bilbo Baggins. Yes, you remember him. He found you, more than 60 years ago, deep underneath the roots of the Misty Mountains. He took something from you. A ring. You were looking for him, weren't you? You left your home in the mountains, worming your way down the hills, always hiding from the moon. You followed the hobbit's trace all the way east to the lonely mountain. But then you stopped and turned south. Why? Something must have drawn you away. A voice calling you to the land of shadow. Leave us alone! Whispering your name in your dream. Not listening! So, once again, what is your name? Very well, Smeagol. Now, let us start at the beginning.
me again. Curse this land. Curse it. Curse it. Tomorrow, my dear, tomorrow we find something nice. We hate this land. Hate it! And up, and up again. Mountains of Shadow. That is where you are hiding. I should ask. Why is it asking us questions? Why? You know why. Talk to the orcs. Never. But we have sharp ears and we listen. When we came, the nasty old dog died. <laughs> Perhaps she helps us now, the great spider. Perhaps. We both are beasts to eat, yes, and crunchy oxies, but she doesn't like them much. <laughs> No nice friend was he precious. <laughs> Not tricksing us now, is he? Hmm? No. No. Not anymore. <laughs> Back's home, bird's foot, all the same, sweet one. Just names. What's the noise?
So you never left that cave. Never. And no one ever saw you. No one. will tell the wraiths and squeal on us. little spy. It will tell the wraiths and squeal on us. And that's how far you ever went into Mordor. We never, never left the clouds. Why is it asking us? <laughs> uh, 
And that's how far you ever went into Mordor. We never, never left the clouds. Why is it asking us? And that's how far you ever went into Mordor. We never, never left the clouds. Why is it asking us? And that's how far you ever went into Mordor. We never, never left the clouds. Why is it asking us? There it is, the spy. Two of them, two little cloaks. Who's there? Who do you think? Open up! Stay close to them, precious. Up here! 
So they never caught you here. Then why are there torture marks on your hands? They're getting away. Very smart. <laughs> she could help us. Something's brewing. Even the shriekers are out flying. Those screams, you. Makes your skin crawl.